Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. A couple of big shopping days are over, and of course I ordered a couple of things. Uh, not just for me, but I'm only going to talk about the ones that I got for me, because otherwise that kind of spoils any surprises there may be for anyone else who may stumble across this and may be getting one of those other things. Uh, the uh, stuff that I ordered so far that's come in is, is from Amazon, and we all know Amazon has pretty fantastic shipping. Uh, I was really surprised uh, by the package that showed up today because I ordered it yesterday and uh, didn't pay any extra for same-day shipping or anything like that, and uh, stuff showed up today. The couple of things that I'm going to show you are, of course, technology gadgets, because that's what I'm going to spend my money on for me most of the time. Uh, I don't usually ask other people to give me these things as gifts for a couple of reasons, uh, and I'll definitely explain one of those when we talk about this first thing. Uh, this first thing is uh, an Amazon Fire tablet. This is one of uh, their really cheap ones. Uh, on regular days, it's about 50 bucks. Uh, for the sales that was on, it was about $35. Either way, it's cheap enough for me to go and say, yeah, I'll give that a try. Uh, I had a Nexus 7 tablet from a couple years back uh, that back in June and July really just stopped working for no reason that I can tell. I think something went bad with the battery, and since you can't open it up to replace the battery, it's basically been a paperweight since then, which is a shame because I use that all the time for checking email in bed and uh, reading uh, Kindle books from Amazon and a few other things here and there. Uh, it was nice to have around. It's a nice, uh, nice tablet, uh, the, the Nexus 7 was, but when it doesn't work anymore, there's really not much you can do. So a cheap tablet from Amazon seemed like a good thing to uh, give a go because again, cheap enough that I don't feel bad one way or another. I'm buying it for myself, so if it's kind of crappy, I don't have to pretend I'm happy I got it. Uh, which is something that, that I we all feel a little obligated to do if someone gives us a gift, even if it's something we asked for, uh, and it turns out to not be as awesome as we hoped it was going to be, to still go, yeah, thanks, no, I love it. It's, it's fantastic, yay. Amazon Fire tablet here. Um, this is the seven inch one. It's cheap. It feels cheap. It looks cheap. It's got a plastic back on it. It's a uh, little clunky. This is the uh, Nexus 7 tablet that I had. Uh, like I said, it doesn't turn on anymore, but it's distinctly thinner than uh, the uh, Amazon Fire tablet. It's a little taller, but about the same width. And uh, it's got a nice rubberized back on it that feels more solid. It doesn't have any echo or empty space in it, um, which makes it feel really nice to hold. Uh, the Amazon Fire tablet here, uh, again, this is the cheap one. There are more expensive ones. Just doesn't have a solid feel to it. Uh, it's got weight to it, that's for sure. The screen isn't quite as uh, clear or crisp, uh, but it works. Uh, it's got all of the uh, standard Amazon apps on it. It does go through the Amazon App Store and not the Google App Store. So if you're expecting to get your regular Google apps on here, because it is an Android-based tablet, uh, don't expect that. There are ways to get them on here, but it takes a bit of doing. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to use this for reading my Kindle books. I'm going to use it for when I need something to just uh, toss in a bag and go. Watch some of the uh, streaming stuff through it. It's not an exceptionally uh, 
high definition display like some of the other tablets out there, but for the price, you can't beat it. This is about as basic consumer electronics as you can get without just having a classic digital watch or a pocket calculator. This is cheaper than some of those, and you can't beat that. So Amazon, uh, once again, is winning the war to get into the basic household uh, equipment. And this, this is definitely going to do that, especially when they are, they've been selling them uh, for a while, for the holiday rush, uh, for only about 35 bucks, packaged with other stuff at 50 bucks. There's a lot of people that are going to be getting these this year. They sell this model in five packs. You buy four, you get one free. Fill up everyone stocking in the whole family and still have someone to give to your relatives. You can't beat that sort of deal, uh, unless you're looking for something fancy. Now, I was spoiled by my much more expensive uh, Nexus tablets, uh, and uh, trading down to this is tricky. Uh, like I said, I, I don't feel inclined to use it as much as I use the other one, mainly because I can't easily and happily uh, check my email in the interface that I prefer. Uh, there's also a few other little things with the way they've set up the uh, screens. It's definitely made to consume Amazon Media primarily. Uh, not anything particularly wrong with that. You kind of know what you're getting into uh, if you read any of the description. Uh, I did not pay the extra to have the lock screen ads removed, so every time I turn it on, uh, I get an ad in my face. It would be another 15 bucks to get those removed. I'm not going to spend another 15 bucks on it. It's going to be for consuming Amazon content mostly, maybe some Netflix, maybe some uh, Hulu, but I've got a uh, much larger tablet that I've used for watching movies. Uh, it's just not exceptionally convenient for carrying around all the time. Uh, so that's the first thing that showed up that I ordered for myself because I didn't want to risk having to seem much more excited about it than I even planned on being. I did not expect this to be an awesome technological device based on my own experience. Uh, but it's serviceable, and if uh, you're just looking for something uh, entry-level tablet-wise, you're good with that. It's It's got a uh, SD card slot on it, so you can... Uh, add more memory to it. Not bad, just not as nice as I'm used to. So that's the Amazon Fire uh, tablet, the small one, the cheap one. If you have one of them, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Like I said, it's a decent piece of electronics. For the price, you probably can't beat it. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about it, if you have one, or if you're thinking about getting one, uh, we can talk a little bit. So that's one of the things that showed up. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk about another one of the things that showed up. Uh, no sense in making these all incredibly long. Uh, so if you like the stuff I talk about, uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you are not subscribed, subscribe below and then you'll be sure to know when I uh, put up the next video about the other hunk of electronics that I got. And if you know anyone else who's interested in this stuff, share this or any of the other videos with them uh, so they can get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.